Hey everyone, Dutch here again. Hope you're doing fine. Uh, I wanted to uh, highlight a defense team that I'm seeing more and more often and talk a little bit about why it's used and what the pitfalls are with it. It is Asgardians minus Thor plus Drax. So the idea is that Thor is really good on Wave 1 Avengers, especially on defense. Uh, people often underestimate that team's capability, often underestimate its healing, and they fail on it. So it's a good idea to put Thor with Wave 1 Avengers and then move somebody else into the Asgardians uh, defensive slot. So, um, what I've been using personally also, as well is Drax. Um, he just, the only reason why is because he spawns with a taunt. And the, the purpose behind that is, as I'll show you here, it, when people tag it with Symbiotes, which is the most well-known, built-up, best counter for Asgardians, or really any team that has Hela, um, if you kill Gregs, you get a bunch of turn meter, you get a bunch of heals, and it just gets the ball rolling for Symbiotes. But Greg, on spawn, technically prevents this and this is the reason why i wanted to show this fight now if you look here if i pause it the no uh, the greg on the far left corner here is as far away from drax as he can possibly be and this is the correct positioning by the way you want uh you want drax and sif far away from hella because that's most likely where the greg is going to spawn um heimdall in the middle is fine he prevents i guess brotherhood and I don't know. He's, he's okay. He's just really slow, so he do not really do a whole lot. Uh, but the Loki Hella combo has a chance to go off here because I'm not going to be able to hit that Greg before Hella takes a turn. And so the biggest challenge here is what do I do? How do I get off this boosted Drax? Like, look at that. Oh, and right there, you can see they also followed up with the attack on the person that had the bleeds and defense down. So now it's spread to everyone. <laughs> and so that's pretty killer. Um, that's a lot of damage, even though this is a huge punch down for me. Um, you gotta be careful with this stuff because right now I don't have a quick heal. I don't have a way of getting to that Greg. And look at my anti-venom. My anti-venom is five red, five gold. If he was one star less of either one of those, he would be dead right now. And I would probably, possibly fail this attack. If I can keep Symbiote Spider-Man and Carnage alive, I can still pull it out, but it makes it dicey. And you'll see here, I'm trying to figure out what do I do. Um, so the first thing I can do is get big heals. And so that's what I go for here, as well as the follow-up attacks with Anti-Venom. Unfortunately, he gets swung out again by Sif and Heimdall. <laughs> Thankfully, the heal block did not stick on my um, Anti-Venom. But I did get Drax in the red there, so that does give me a little turn meter. And uh, we're going to go for this Greg now that we can. Oh, wait, no, we can't. Because now Sif has taunted. So this is a really annoying team. Um, it's, it can go very poorly sometimes. But now that I've made it this far and I still have Anti-Venom and Symbiote Spider-Man, I should be fine. Um, that's really the key. And you just gotta watch for this. So, I've seen people fail this. I've also seen people time out on this defense with Symbiotes. And it's because they just don't understand how do you deal with everybody being stealth. So, the main thing is just use the Symbiote ult. Um, Doing that AOE two turn slow and stun and big damage is huge. That helps a lot. Um, you're just trying to clear out Gregs here, but I also like to just take out Gregs that are not close to Hela. Uh, I really like where that one is positioned right now between Hela and Heimdall because I could hit him with a uh, Venom ult and potentially give heal block to both of them, uh, which is really nice. It, or you know, uh, it, it's just it's helpful for Scream, right? So if I use her basic, she's gonna attack somebody adjacent as well potentially remove a buff and if it's stealth like you just saw right there where she removed it from hella now i'm able to target hella but i don't really want to target Hella quite yet i still want to build up some turn meter and uh and then i'll go after her so there i go we start laying into her and now we've got some turn meter built up because you can see uh scream took two turns in a row there uh i and now venom does too that that tells you how much turn meter is actually stacked uh you can't tell because once it gets to 100 percent, it doesn't show anymore but it does does overfill uh, considerably if you just keep killing Gregs. Um, so I go for Hela here and take her down and then uh, the rest of it's easy peasy because there's really no other threat. Without Thor there's not a big deal. You can just keep hitting Asgardians all you want because there's no real repercussions. Um, that is one of the problems with pulling Thor from this team. So that's why Thor on wave one uh, is a good choice for defense but not necessarily putting Asgard with them. Uh, Asgard can be scary. I've just I've seen people 
people failed this fight before and you can see why like that's that's what i'm trying to show is that i was able to pull this one out but that a, a av nearly died in which case i would have been down him and scream and then trying to pull it out from there with just the original three symbiotes so certainly possible i could have lost this fight but probably not uh, however the reason why is because i did it with a comfortable punch down and so that's the other thing is unless you get lucky and that uh in that greg spawns next to drax for some reason you can you're gonna have a hard time getting through drax and then also sift to get to the the characters you really want to hit such as greg and uh, the important as guardians so just to show here is again 624 symbiotes into a 541 uh asgardian drax combo it could have gone the other way uh especially if i was punching uh across or potentially up um which i do sometimes um but yeah if you don't get lucky with that greg spawn you can't get to him for a while you're going to be missing out on a lot of the power from this team. So just something to think about. Um, it is a decent team, especially if you've already got Asgardians pretty well built and you want to do Wave 1 with Thor as well. Uh, I think Wave 1 with Thor is a much better defense than this one, just overall. So I would personally rather invest heavily in them. Another option is to just pull Asgardians off of defense altogether. So um, I know this is a breakdown for this particular defense, but as you can see, it's not too much trouble for Symbiotes. Um, symbiotes could be used elsewhere, though. They do take out some other teams pretty well, and it could, it's just kind of a, a feeling on your roster on like which ones you want to use. But... If you take Hela and Loki to offense with Supernatural, really just Strange, Mordo, and uh, Ghost Rider, they are killer, and they can really punch up. So just something to think about. But anyway, I just wanted to do this breakdown. Pretty simple one. Um, just wanted to cover the, the topics there on how to uh, get through the, the tank uh, the tank wall there at the beginning. And then once you do that, uh, it should be smooth sailing. So uh, just some things to think about. I don't know. Tell me if you like this team or not. I, I don't hate them, but uh, to me, they're kind of like a mid-tier defense at best. But uh, unfortunately, as Guardians on defense are falling off quite a bit, uh, there's just too many other good teams uh, ahead of them now. So, But they are are pretty good on offense if you got Hell and Loki built. So keep that in mind. Anyway, y'all have a good night. I'll see you later.